Jitex Live for 2015. Hi, I'm Andy Marlow. We're down here on the Etty Salat stand and we're going to look now at what will be your future when you go shopping in the connected supermarket. So in the connected supermarket of the future, you simply scan your card, pick up your terminal and away you go. And as you can see, as you walk across in front of the various products, the country of origin, the price, the nutritional information is displayed for you. You scan, you select the product and put it in the basket. And that happens all the way through the supermarket. What is this groundbreaking technology? Well, I have George here with me now. Explain what we're seeing in action here, George. Okay, you're seeing a full current portfolio of products and services which are merged together, deliver really unique end user experience. Everything from trolley which follows you, so you don't need to pull off trolley, so it's a robotics, and actually this is what we call robots for good. So it actually makes really impactful services for you to the advanced sensors, which uh, sense where you are, so produce you additional information on the product, to advanced scanner, to NFC, RFID, smart watches, even biometrics, because if you can afford go further, when you complete your purchase, and if you drop your Joy device in the system, when it reads all this information, you have an option of paying, and in addition to the credit card or mobile phone, the normal way of paying, you can pay with your hand. So this is advanced biometrics, when I'm just passing my hand through the system, you can see just pulled my credit card. So I just approved the transaction directly through Advanced Biometrics. So it's a full portfolio of services elegantly merged together to deliver absolutely unique transformation on user experience and bring what we call physical world experience to the digital world. And this is what Eti Salat is about, and this is what we're showcasing here in Jitex. And of course, Eti Salat, this isn't the future. I said at the start this is the future, but this is actually real world now, isn't it? It is, because if you look at uh, what's behind me, this virtual mall, and this is actually as a part of Eti Salat culture. Last year in Jitex, we showcased this virtual mall as a theory, and we did lots of analysis tests, acquired lots of customer feedback, and earlier this week, actually on Monday, Exactly the same service as you see here went live in the Mall of Emirates metro stations. We did it together with RTA and Trolley.e, our partner, to deliver ability for customers fully in the digital environment to purchase items and have items delivered to their homes. And this is literally, I mean, it's, it's touch sensitive, it's huge, you select what you want, you add it to your cart, it's into the checkout. Yeah, even more. You, you shopping and I'm shopping, so we shop in parallel. So I'm doing my stuff, you're doing your, and when you are, when you are ready, when you are ready, you complete the checkout and pay, and the stuff is delivered to your home exactly in one hour or in the time which you pre-select. So it's not a theory; it's a fully digital experience. It's a transformational digital experience. Retailers love this because it makes interactive engagement with the customers. It makes way for the customers to really enjoy shopping experience, and on the personal level. I personally always forget to buy stuff. And my wife is calling me, George, you forgot to buy milk. So this is a way for me to solve my problem. On the way home, I order milk and it actually arrives home ahead of me. George, you solved a problem for all of us uh, from Etty Salat. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Okay, we're going to have a look around the rest of the stand here at Etty Salat, here on Jitex Live. So down here now on the other side of the Etty Salat stand and I'm very pleased to be joined now by uh, Pete from Rex Bionics. Good morning. Hi there, how are you doing? You're very good. Welcome to Jitex Live for 2015. And this, I mean, this bit of kit looks uh, a little bit dangerous. It looks awesome. Explain to us what we're looking at. Dangerous is not a really good word. It's absolutely rock solid safe. This is used to get quadriplegics up and standing, up and walking around. So it's a Rex um, robotic exoskeleton. And you were invited here, this is how you guys are here? Yeah, Amana Health invited us and Etislat invited us here. Okay, so what's this used for? Okay, we're looking at um, patients with disabilities to get them up and walking in the rehab environment, um, basically to improve their, um, their daily lives and hopefully extend their lives a little bit longer and improve their general health and well-being. We've got one of our physios here with us who can probably talk to you about that a bit later on. Okay, so we have Lee here, who's a user. Lee, could you uh, get yourself in the chair, please? So, Pete, explain to me the technology we're seeing here as Lee's getting in. Okay, well, we've got 10 um, motor actuators, um, some uh, the things driven, the, the exoskeletons driven by uh, uh, lithium-ion batteries, 
um, is very simply controlled with a joystick. Any user can actually, uh, after about 10 minutes, be using it um, independently. And in terms of development for this, uh, you know, research and development, what's been the uh, timescales? It's overall taken around about eight years. Two guys started in a garage in New Zealand. Um, they were working full time. It took them two years to develop the ankle first. And uh, eight years later, we've now got a product that's commercial and we're actually selling into hospitals. And, and you know, we can see the immediate benefits maybe, but, uh, and we'll talk to the physiotherapist later, but in, in actual use and in practice, what's the feedback you're having with this? The feedback is excellent so far from people that have been using it. We're to, they're talking about improved sleep, um, improved plasticity, improved circulation, bowel and bladder control. Yeah, there's some really major improvements going on and we've got clinical trials going on around the world currently as well to actually prove the anecdotal evidence that we're getting. Okay, and uh, in terms of ownership, is this something which is available from a medical centre? Is it something which is uh, as an individual? It can be purchased privately um, outside the US. Um, so anywhere else in the world it can be purchased privately or the main focus at the moment is on the medical market uh, in rehab centres. So we're looking at people with stroke conditions, neurology conditions, SCI, um, yeah, a wide range of conditions. Okay, well Lee, I can see you're now in the device. How does that feel? It feels normal now, just sitting down like I'm ready to push and wheel somewhere, but I can't. But it's when I stand up and when I actually move and walk around that it feels fantastic. Okay, well let's see that in action. You can see this little screen here, very simple to use, much like a power wheelchair or anything like that. It's just simple functions, when you get to the function you want to select, you select it and then you're holding the joystick forward and as you can see on the screen there, it shows you what it is you're going to do. If I let it go, then the next action is standing. It's that simple. It will eventually stop, but it's the right foot that swings through. That easy. That is completely easy, isn't it? And how does that feel from being in the chair and now to this? How does that feel? Phenomenal, phenomenal. To be able to stand up is one thing, but as you can see, I'm not sweating. My, my heart rate has not increased. It's, it's that easy that I'm literally, if I, if I turn as well, there's no fatigue. There's no stress, there's no pressure. It's just that easy, but to be able to do it under my own steam and it, my self-confidence is improved. I'm, I'm my own height, I level with you. Whereas before Andy, you see me down here and I'm like looking up at you. Yeah, this is just fantastic. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing there doesn't appear to be a downside for you. The downside is getting out. <laughs> no, there isn't. Uh, it's, it does make my bowels and bladder you know, stretch out, because this is what we're designed as humans. We're supposed to be upright and standing. So to be in the device and not just standing, actually walking around makes me my body work properly. Okay, well that sounds like that could be a health benefit, so that's a, a good chance now to move across to Tom, who's the physiotherapist. So, so Tom, welcome to Drytex Live, um, an amazing bit of kit. Yes, absolutely. Um, I think Lee's kind of already touched on some of the health benefits he's had. Um, we've got a lot of anecdotal stuff so far from people saying improved sleep, improved spasticity, improved bladder and bowel function. And in theory, because they're standing and ambulating, their bone density will improve as well. But also it's a rehabilitation device. The beauty about Rex is it's fully adjustable. You can go from someone who's four foot six to six foot four in a matter of minutes, you just adjust the machine. Um, which means you can see seven, eight people in a day in a hospital and go from one bed to the next to the next and make it really efficient. On my side of things, I'm just using a joystick rather than having to move a limb. I don't need five other therapists to do what I would normally do with a Rex. And then we're now kind of conducting clinical research to see what kind of health benefits we can actually prove. We've got so much anecdotal evidence. We've got some very good clinical evidence as well, and now we're just building on all of that. Okay, well, it, I, I can't see any downsides to it. It looks an amazing piece of technology yeah. uh, from Rex Bionics. Um, good luck with the future. Thank you very much. Okay, you can see this down here right now at the Etisalat stand Rex Bionics, and uh, maybe have a go yourself. Mm -hmm.